Here we're looking at Georgia O'Keeffe's 1922 oil painting called Skunk Cabbage, Cos Cobb. Simplocarpus photidus, commonly known as skunk cabbage, swamp cabbage, or polecat weed, grows in wetlands and moist hill slopes throughout eastern North America. The second part of the painting's title, Cos Cobb, refers to the neighborhood in Greenwich, Connecticut, where O'Keeffe spent time and made a series of skunk cabbage paintings and other closely cropped, zoomed-in depictions of plant life. The green, ribbed leaf stands tall through the central axis of the painting. At the bottom of the center of the painting, you might notice a wine-colored circle obscured by a dark and twisting form, which O'Keeffe renders shiny with reflective light, capturing the thick, waxiness of the plant's flower. This painting depicts part of the earlier cycle of the plant's life, when it has a waxy, purple bulb. Later in the season, the skunk cabbage becomes green and leafy, hard to distinguish from other plants. While they may not look it, skunk cabbages are wildflowers and are one of the earliest plants to flower in some parts of the United States. This makes them a helpful sign of approaching spring. Skunk cabbage is also among a small group of plants that are thermogenic meaning they can generate temperatures up to 63 degrees above air temperature. In the case of the skunk cabbage, this allows the plant to melt its way through frozen ground to emerge. Perhaps O'Keeffe's warm ring of orange emanating from the edges of the plant's leaf and flower evokes this remarkable quality, or perhaps the plant's unique scent. When skunk cabbages bloom, as well as when its leaves are broken, the plant emits a pungent odor that people have compared to the smell of a skunk. While this bad smell deters humans and other large mammals from eating it, which is a good thing as it is mildly toxic when eaten raw, the smell attracts pollinators such as bees. The skunk cabbage has also been used medicinally to treat ailments including anxiety, headaches, and epilepsy. Over the course of her career, O'Keefe depicted the skunk cabbage several times from different perspectives and angles and at different stages of its seasonal cycle. With this work's background of blended, undulating yellows, blues, and blacks, the focus remains on the colors and form of the plant rather than its environment. Instead of a botanical illustration with clear delineated parts, we see something both ominous and seductive that gives a sense of not only what the plant looks like in nature, but its character too. I invite you to look closely in your own environment and all the organisms that make up the vibrant ecosystems where you live. What would happen if you looked at a blade of grass in the sidewalk crack through a magnifying glass or took the time to really examine the petals of a weed like a dandelion. You can follow instructions for an activity that asks us to consider plant life in an unconventional way. In this case, we'll be making watercolors out of vegetable scraps. Through this activity, we can sharpen our skills of looking closely and finding or even creating beauty in unlikely or overlooked spaces.